Leopold Sango, the man who ruled Senegal as a fool and as a tool for the French. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel below. Today we're talking about Leopold Sango, who was the first president of Senegal and one of the most celebrated Africans in French history. Now, why was he celebrated by the French? Because he furthered French interests in Senegal. In order to reciprocate the goodwill that Senghor was elected to the French Academy, which is the highest honor of scholars and writers in France. Now, why would they do that? Because Senghor sought French acceptance and considered this the highest award and honor of his life. He wanted to be remembered as a poet than as a president of Senegal. Sango was originally trained as a Roman Catholic priest, dropped out and joined regular school. He went to Paris on a scholarship and became a teacher there. And while in Europe, he was even captured by the Nazis, spent two years in a concentration camp, and then became an advocate for independence. He was president of Senegal from 1960 to 1980, ushering two decades of failure and taking the Senegalese backwards in every socio-economic aspect. This is not surprising since he made no positive contribution to Senegal in the two decades as president. Sango wanted to be a Frenchman. He was more a Frenchman in African skin. He had French advisors in his government. He kept French government officials and justified this by stating that the Senegalese were uneducated and therefore unqualified for top government positions. He made no effort to train the Senegalese or to change the status quo. The black Senegalese remained second-class citizens, as all trade and industry was in the hands of the French. He gave development projects to them and made sure that the status quo prevailed. Sango's legacy is the inability to maintain food securities. During his tenure, the price of the main country's export, which was brown nuts, fell from above between 5.5% in 1970 to about 8.4%. Average income in Senegal fell during his tenure, and Senegal's external debt rose from 98 million in 1970 to 738 million in 1979. He made Senegal and the Senegalese people beggars, relying on foreign aid. During his tenure, aid accounted for 13% of Senegal's GDP. Sango's dismissal, Sango's economic record set Senegal backwards and is responsible for part of Senegal's economic problems. It is no secret that Sango spent most of his time in Paris and Normandy rather than Dakar, the capital. He was a Frenchman at heart. And during Senghor's presidency, more French people migrated to Senegal than any time during colonialism. Now, this is not surprising because Senghor married a French woman, which made his assimilation complete. In the end, Senghor was more beneficial to the French than to the people of Senegal. Leopold Senghor was Senegal's fool and the French's tool. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. 